type of malicious software, that cyber criminals use to hijack a person's data, encrypt those data, and demand the owner for ransom payment if they want the data back and decrypted. They threaten the victim to expose their personal data to public or sell it to someone else if they won't give the money. The attackers provide the procedure of transferring money that is usually in form of bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies such as, Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin. Ransomware attack can be performed by using phishing or spoofing. The files in an email are somehow forced to be downloaded on the target's computer system, typically using social engineering. Then once they are downloaded and opened, the attacker can take over the system and determine all the victim's data. The attackers then compel the victim to pay ransom in exchange for a decryption key. Malicious advertisements are also a technique of ransomware attack. Sometimes users don't even have to click on the ads to activate ransomware. This usually occurs when the website is fully in control of the hackers. This method of attacking is called drive-by download attack, followed by a ransomware, infecting one's computer. Ransomware attack can also be carried out using Trojan horse attack. There are three common types of ransomware. Scareware. Scareware includes fake security software and tech support scams. The target receives a pop-up message claiming that malware has been discovered in their system and the only way to get rid of it is to pay. If they do nothing, they get bombarded with pop-ups. Screen lockers. Lock screen ransomware entirely freezes a person's computer. When they start their computer, they see a full screen window, often with an official looking FBI report, notifying that illegal activity has been found on their computer and that they must pay a fine in order to clean the device. Encrypting ransomware. Attackers snatch and encrypt a victim's files and demand payment to decode the data. This type of ransomware is relatively dangerous because once the attackers have the person's information, they never return it unless they get the demanded ransom. Sometimes the victim cannot access their files even after paying the ransom. In the previous decade, there have been many remarkable ransomware attacks on the international level. WannaCry WannaCry is a ransomware cryptoworm that spread rapidly across 150 countries. It started on 12 May, 2017. It struck a number of important and high-profile systems, including many in Britain's National Health Service, and companies in Spain, Russia, Ukraine, and Taiwan. It propagated through Eternal Blue, an exploit discovered by the United States National Security Agency for older Windows systems. Eternal Blue was stolen and leaked by a group called, The Shadow Brokers, at least a year prior to the attack. Users' files were held hostage and the attackers demanded $300 worth of bitcoins, and then later increased the ransom demand to $600 worth of bitcoins. If victims did not pay the ransom within three days, they were told that their files would be permanently deleted. The attack was stopped within a few days of its encounter with the help of emergency patches released by Microsoft, and the discovery of a kill switch that prohibited infected computers from further spreading of WannaCry. Bad Rabbit. The success of WannaCry and NotPetya, another ransomware attack, inspired others to put similar methods of spreading malicious content to the test. Bad Rabbit first appeared in October of 2017, targeting organizations in Russia, Ukraine, and the US. The Bad Rabbit malware was disguised as an Adobe Flash Player update, a Trojan horse, spreading through drive-by download. It is both, an encryption ransomware and a screen locker. Unlike WannaCry, Bad Rabbit hasn't spread widely. Other notable ransomware attacks include Petya, Loki, Jigsaw, Gand Crab, and Rook. The mentioned ransomware attacks are still being practiced along with several others, and there is no stopping them. You can surely take several useful precautions to avoid the attack. Never click on unverified links. Do not open untrusted email attachments. Only download from the trusted sites. Avoid giving out personal data. Use strong spam filters, and authenticate users. Never use unfamiliar USBs. Keep your software and operating system updated. Use a VPN when using public Wi-Fi. Use security software and keep it updated. Backup your data regularly. 
instantly disable the web if you spot a suspicious process on your computer. Use strong passwords. If somehow you get attacked by ransomware, you can follow the given survival key points. Contact an expertise of a cybersecurity organization. You can get help from National Response Center for Cybercrime, National Center for Cybersecurity, Delta Tech, and Pakistan Computer Emergency Report Team. You can also contact the organizations that provide decryption tools. Avast, McAfee, MZSoft, Bitdefender Labs, and Kaspersky are the top firms, providing free ransomware decryption tools. If you want to prevent an encrypting ransomware in action, you must stay cautious. If you notice your system slowing down for apparently no reason, follow these steps. Isolate the infection. Prevent the infection from spreading by separating all infected computers from each other, shared storage, and the network. Identify the infection from messages, evidence on the computer, and identification tools, determine which malware strain you are dealing with. Report to the authorities to support and coordinate measures to counterattack. Restore and refresh. Use safe backups and program and software sources to restore your computer or outfit a new platform. Plan to prevent recurrence. Make an assessment of how the infection occurred, and what you can do to put measures into place that will prevent it from happening again. At this point, you may be thinking that, why not just pay the ransom and get the decryption key at the instance? Here is why you should never pay the ransom. It is considered as funding of the cyber criminal activities. It would encourage the attackers to continue their activities. You may not get the decryption key. You can get multiple ransom demands. You make a target of yourself for future attacks by giving away the payment. It is possible that the files you get, are corrupted, and not functioning. The No More Ransom Project. It was initiated by Europol's European Cybercrime Center, the National High Tech Crime Unit of the Netherlands Police, and McAfee, in 2016. No More Ransom provides free decryption tools for ransomware, and has been growing ever since, now consisting of 163 partners across cybersecurity, law enforcement bodies, financial services, and more. Thank you for watching.